Hey guys, it's Ray here and welcome back to another episode of Wasting My Money in the Name of Art YouTube. Today I am going to be testing out some of the lowest rated, cheap, weirdest art gadgets that you can find on Amazon. And all I'm saying is that I've tested out some weird stuff on my channel before, like art related stuff, you know, there was like the paint jellies, there was the Gucci pen. But I think the stuff that I bought today is probably gonna be like the weirdest that I have ever seen. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. That way you can get notified of all my new videos. And yeah, with that being said, let's jump into the lowest rated and or weirdest art gadgets that I could find on Amazon. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> now this first item, I don't even know how to describe it other than a robot that draws for you. And the name of it is 4M Kids. Robotics, doodling robot, DIY, science, engineering, robotics kit, STEM toys, gift for kids and teens, boys and girls, packaging. May vary. And this one actually does have a high rating of four out of five stars. Um, so yeah, it came like this. <laughs> like, so hopefully it's not broken. why I thought this would come already assembled I don't know why I thought that but apparently not so I'm gonna ask my boyfriend who enjoys building stuff and putting stuff together and see if he'll build it for me come on boy come on all right I'm ready for it thank you Zach you're welcome oh she wants to come with me wow come on so here is what it looks like when it's all put together. It has three markers attached to it, yellow, red, and blue. It seems pretty durable since it has screws everywhere. And I like the eyes. <laughs> That's a nice touch. You can add more markers to it. You can move around the little legs. For 13 bucks, I feel like it's not a bad design, you know? So I'm gonna turn it on and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't explode. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need a close up of this because I can't believe how well that worked. It's very like spotty, which is really interesting. Now, like I said, it has adjustable little arm thingies. That way you can determine what shape you want it to go. It doesn't have to be just a circle. So I'm gonna try to get it to go straight. One, two, three. thing is so awesome. It didn't go completely straight, but it did kind of like a rainbow kind of thing. Dude, this little thing is so cool. Now this next gadget, I have never personally heard of. I'm not even too sure what it is to be exactly honest with you. This is the Spyro Gyro Artistic Motorized Stylus. And this product has three stars out of five, which isn't too bad. It looks very complicated. There's all kinds of complex designs all over it. There's different colors, there's different pen tips. And from what I've gathered, I think you're supposed to just hold it down. It's supposed to like make spiral patterns, but I am still just baffled as to what it does. Oh. Damn, this thing is janky. And let's turn it on. I, 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 how do we turn it off? Oh, oh my god. Did you see that, Bowie? <laughs> what is this? Like, who, who thought of this? But I mean, this looks nothing like what was shown. So right off the bat, it's very hard to control. The more you press down, the more precise it gets. And the lighter you get, the more coverage you have. You know, maybe it was just like that head. Let's try a different head. So you just put it in as so. This has a different way it's going to spiral in a different color, so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard of the Mona Lisa. You've heard of the Sistine Chapel. You heard of the statue of David. Now get ready for Hogwild Pen. 
but yeah, no. In all serious, I mean, I feel like this pen, I wouldn't recommend it to literally anybody. I personally wouldn't even give it three stars. I'd probably give it maybe like two or one. So sorry, Spyro Gyro pen. But I'm gonna have to rate you a big fat zero. Alright, so for this next one, if this one works, it'll be what I think would be considered a game changer. For $10.59 with Amazon Prime, this is called the Sketch Wizard Tracing Drawing Board Optical Draw Projector Painting Reflection Tracing Line Table Copy Pad Erase Kit. <sighs> that was a mouthful. And this one has a 2 out of 5 star rating with 17 reviews. And why this would be a game changer is because it lets you reflect your phone screen onto the table and you can draw from it. It comes with a piece of plastic, which is the reflector. We got the things that hold the plastic. Got the instruction. Oh, I was not expecting the instructions to be this long. What the heck? I feel a little attacked right now. So let me put this together really quick and we'll see where I'm going. Uh, I'm gonna turn up the brightness all the way so it will reflect. I mean, kinda. <laughs> maybe it's just because it's so reflective in here because I have all the studio lights. So let me try turning off the lights and maybe it'll work better. All the lights are turned off. Oh yeah, there we are. It's kind of working now. Oh shit, I just realized I'm left-handed. <laughs> It's really hard to see what you're doing. It's kind of like if you were to just close your eyes and start tracing. So here is what I saw. As you can see, it's kind of hard to see underneath. And this is what I drew. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's not worth 10 bucks. I'm sure you can get it on AliExpress for much cheaper somewhere. I definitely feel like there's a learning curve to this, but it's actually pretty cool. I've never used one of these before, so I'm pretty impressed right now. I probably would give it about a, a three stars. Now for this last one, <laughs> this is another one of those things where I'm not too completely sure exactly what it does. This is called Creativity for Kids Sparks Lab Smithsonian Invent Amazing Art Gadget Kit. Coming in at a whopping one star rating. For this, I spent $25.16. Now, upon first notice, there's just like the most random assortment of stuff in here. We got straws, cardboard, markers, rubber bands, sand. I feel like this box is just like a random collection of just like junk, you know? It came with a little sketchbook that had absolutely zero instructions except for one, and that was that little paint dripper that's on the box. So I think I'm gonna build that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the uh, finished $25 art craft kit. It doesn't look very sturdy, if I'm gonna be honest with you, but I built it exactly, if not better, than what the actual instructions said. Oh, flip flop. <laughs> One, two, three. Ah, oh, dang it. Woo! Well, wait, are you seeing this right now? What is, oh shoot, what is this? Like you can literally just go to Dollar Tree, get, get a piece of paper, turn it into a cone, get some popsicle sticks, a straw, and a rubber band, and create this exact thing for like three bucks. Like why would you spend $25 for this? If I could rate it a zero, I'm rating it a zero. I don't know why it's 25 bucks. I'm sure under different circumstances, maybe this would work better, but I mean $25 for this. Really? Actually, you know what? I am gonna keep the tape and I am gonna keep the markers. I'm gonna donate the rest. Uh, thank you guys so much again for watching. If you guys like this, I might turn it into a series. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Hi, what's up? How's it going? Uh, if you're old here, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. If you wanna see my artwork, head on over to my Instagram. Of course, I have my TikTok. And yeah, with that being said, guys, thank you so much again for watching. And I will see you next video. Bye.